Hello guys, it's me the Larson fan 8042 back with another um fame to fail or fail to fame episode. Today we do fame to fail of Casey Kane. Casey Kane started off with a great career. It looked like he was gonna win championships, but then it fell off, and that's what this episode is about. How Kane started with all the fame, but went from fame to fail. So we start in the Xfinity series where Kane did pretty good. Got one win in his last year before Cup in the Xfinity series. So his Xfinity series career was decent. After 2003, though, when he started going full Cup, he was part time and he got a few more wins, seven to be exact. So pretty good for Kane. But let's talk about his Cup career. Casey Kane had a pretty nice cup career in the beginning. Six wins in 2006, his breakout year. One win in 2005, and two wins in years 2008 and 2009. And then Casey Kane, he just drove a nine car for all those years, replacing Bill Elliott as he retired, or as we thought retired, Road America 2018. <laughs> but Kane did so good, he got many wins. As you can see, a picture from 2008. Um, Kane just was dominant in the Dodge. I mean, you couldn't stop him. And he, mostly in 2006, of course. But his career was looking great. But then it started to go down, I'd say, after 2011. Now, actually, you could say 2012 and 2013 were good. So I do still say 2012 or 2011, sorry, but t you, most people would say 2013. I'm just a little different from them. Now, Kane um, raced a nine car from 2004 to 2010, but in 2011 raced for Red Bull Racing in the four car for one year. Just a year for Casey Kane. So then we're going to get to some of his nice wins, including a Coke 600 victory. So let's look at some of his best wins. <laughs> took over the number nine from legend Bill Elliott, who served as his mentor for a season, and now it's all his own. Off turn four, Casey Kane is a winner at last. Everett Ham watches. You know, a week or two they probably thought, nah, you know, we're out of this thing, yep. and now they're going to look at this point after tonight and go, you know what, we still have a sh we still have a shot, and we're pretty good on those mile and a half yeah. tracks like Atlanta and Texas. Got a few of them coming up yep. at Homestead. Yep. Casey Kane looking for win number six and trying to improve his status in the chase for the championship. Casey Kane sweeps at Charlotte. One point toward the championship on the final lap of the race. Now, Burton had been slipping a little bit. Looked like he's having a hard time with his car right in the center. Tony taking advantage of that adjustment they made to get that spot. Edwards and Stewart going to go to the season finale. Also close in the championship today, though. It's about Casey Kane and Red Bull Racing scoring the Kane was pretty good, but then you I looked you can look back and say after 2013, Kane's career changed. I still do say 2011, like I said. So we're gonna start from 2014. A after 2013, he has two wins. One of them nicely earned at Atlanta in 2014. And another in 2017 at Indianapolis off of strategy. And the caution race. So, yeah. But before that, he had so many wins. As you can see, a um, picture from his Atlanta win. What happened to Casey Kane? He just fell off after 2013 when he went to Hendrick Motorsports. So, Kane, that's when he really started from fame to fail. And this is very sad for Casey Kane. As now he is... A fail, but he still did very good in his career. Now, 2018, he was underperforming, so he went from the Hendrick Motorsports to Levine Family Racing to the 95 um, that Michael McDowell was driving. Kane's done low. He hasn't done very good in that. He did miss Indianapolis um, last weekend, 
and he might miss more races, but as you guys know, this is his last year in racing. It's very sad that he ends his career off in a low way. Just sad for Casey Kane, driving the 95. He went great from the 9 car, went to the 4 car for Red Bull Racing, which was decent. For, went to Hendrick, which started great, but it's sad to see what happened. Let's look at some of Kane's worst moments. Moving into the, we saw this on pit road early. Casey Kane hits the inside wall and knocks it down. Saw some guys' helmets that were sitting up there. So a problem with Casey Kane's car goes on to pit road and the caution. And the number five will come into view there. And there she goes. She just turned dead right. To, that tire goes down. There's nothing you can do. Hit the wall and turn one. White flag continues to wave. No caution. Kevin Harvick trying to nail down a one, two, three for Ford, and the caution flag waves. That was a huge impact for Casey Kane. See what happened down, right maybe. He just, I think he just got oh, out of no. the debris. Yeah, he just got dirt. He just got out in the uh, loose stuff and then it just went straight in the fence. And boy, it pushed that wall back. How did it happen? Oh. I, I, well, I'm not clear. It's not clear to me if Casey thought he was clear and was trying to go up the, up the racetrack to get in front of the 19 or if... Or if he was chasing the car up, this will be a good view on board with Daniel Suarez. You hear Daniel out of the gas. He knows the five is coming up and he knows. So those are Kane's worst moments. I'm sorry we're going to end this on a bad note, but I mean, this is how it's going to go. We're going to have weeks where we see drivers who were horrible in their early career go to fame. We're going to have drivers where they start great, but did horribly. This is week two of 12 of the fame from fame to fail or fail to fame series. Hope you guys enjoyed this. The Larson fan 842 signing off. Don't forget to like and subscribe road to one K. Um, just had a sad career for Casey Kane. Sad. He's retiring.